Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest. And we are here with Aiden and his mate Raven who are currently chilling out in uh, Injunction Butte territory. Maybe not the smartest place to hang out but they're right near the border and uh, they're kind of just hanging out in the woods here. Aiden was a little bit maybe too over eager to make a statement to the pack and to show that he's not afraid of him. Oh, he's sniffing the air. That's so cute. That's actually part of the idle animation I guess. <laughs> it's kind of funny. There's a lot of little details in this uh, like the sniff animation and such not like I didn't do that he, he just did that all on his own and I just that's uh, just the cutest thing gosh darn it <laughs> look at that but anyway before we really begin I'm gonna go ahead and actually um, roll because these two are not considered to be bonded we have to get a 17 or higher today and if so then we can turn off mate permadeath and we got a 16 dang it okay just barely not enough so we're gonna go ahead and uh, let them sleep a little bit more. We'll let Aiden recover just a bit. And uh, hopefully we'll, 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 we'll kind of chill out here until this carcass is gone, I think. And then get a move on later on. We're not... We are under attack. Oh, oh, there's actually like a bear here. Okay, um, Raven! Raven, get out of there! Okay, you know what? We're not going to chill out here then. We're going we're gonna to go elsewhere. Is there a stranger wolf here? Let's stay away from the bear. <laughs> um, yeah, that's... That's not really what I wanted to, to see here. Okay, Raven, um, yeah, she's not too happy, but let's let's keep our distance. That was a bear with a cub. We're definitely not ready to take that on. And she did get a little hurt, it looks like. She tried to challenge it. Oh, poor gal. All right, let's, uh, let's head off into the woods here. We'll see if there's anything else we can hunt. I smell, is that Stranger Wolf? The Wapiti Pack, oh, okay. So it's not the uh, pack here. What's this? Oh, this is the the cub. That's what the cub scent looks like. It's a little bit lighter in color, apparently. So yeah, now that the now that the bears are in game, we're running into them everywhere. Wow. Uh, and Junction Butte 2M. Ten minutes ago, five minutes ago, just now. Did you come back? This wolf came back by the looks of it. Is this this is the one we ran off earlier just now? Oh, look who's up here. Oh, are you still running? I think still running. Oh man, get out of here. We're just gonna kind of kind of make sure this guy knows who's boss. He's still on the run. But uh, we won't we won't we won't we won't hurt him too much. We just want him to get out of here and to keep his distance because he did come poking around. I think I saw him for just like half a second and then he ran from the bear too. <laughs> so he he's definitely not uh, not doing quite so so great, but he did come back around. And Raven will r finish running him off there. You can see when his uh, flight meter gets all the way to the top, he'll run away. And so that's kind of a good measure of that. Is this? This is just a territorial marker. Look at that. He left a scent mark here. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> that's what we think of your scent mark. <laughs> oh, Aiden, why are you like this? Um, yeah, he's, he's just going to kind of... Um, Kind of, kind of, kind of put that, put the, the pack in their place. He's not necessarily a wolf with the greatest judgment skills ever. He kind of wants to do what he wants, even if it's a, a little bit of a, a disaster sometimes. So, and it, the hairs are white. I think that tends to happen pretty late in the year. Uh, their coat color does change, which, uh, you know, their snowshoe hairs, that's something that, that happens. They do change colors in the winter time. But we're going to sit down, curl up, and uh, try to heal because Raven is also, oh, she'll, she'll go eat, I guess. We'll let, we'll let her finish eating before. Uh, and she didn't get that much food, but uh, she got some at least. And it looks like we actually have a dream here now, too. So let's see if we can possibly go hunt something when we wake up. Oh no, that's that's another scary dream. A dream of fire and pups again. Goodness. All right, who's here? Who is this? Is this the same wolf? Gosh darn it, it's the same wolf. He won't leave us alone. We keep getting hurt, too. Like, we keep, we keep attacking and... Like, every time we attack, we lose a little bit of health. We're actually losing health overall, I think. These two shouldn't have any trouble running him off because, I mean, he's a lone wolf. He keeps coming back. He keeps fighting them. But, uh, he's still, uh... He's, he keeps getting his butt kicked every single time. He hasn't learned his lesson. I think Aiden would be... Aiden's not gonna kill him, but Aiden is gonna do as much damage as possible here, I think, just to kind of uh, give him an extra warning to remind him not to mess with them. Raven might kill him if given the chance. Um, she can be pretty fierce. 
But I have honestly feel like Aiden might chase him down again just to kind of give him the one last warning bite here. Because he keeps bothering them. I mean, yes, they're on his territory, but again, we've established Aiden doesn't always have the best of judgments. He doesn't always realize that maybe aggravating the neighboring wolf pack might not be the greatest of ideas. So he's gonna he's gonna let this guy go now. But uh they definitely are uh they definitely, they definitely showed him who's boss here. We'll go ahead and give a nice howl, kind of chase him off, and hopefully this time he does keep his distance. I mean, I think they're going to get it. <laughs> Look at that. They howled together and it made him happy. Oh, my goodness. But uh, they kind of did... Um... Oh, who's this? Coyote? Fox. Oh, it's a fox. Okay. Um, but they, they howled together and that, that they liked it. They, we got the hearts there. But yeah, they're probably going to end up getting chased off by Stranger Wolves again. It's just this one wolf that keeps coming back that's kind of aggravating them. They shouldn't really be stalking around on wolf territory like this, but they've gotten a little overconfident. And I just hope that doesn't lead them to disaster, because it certainly could. Now, we do have an elk herd here that is... Oh, it's a big herd, too. Look at the size of it. Wow, look how huge this herd is. My goodness, oh, there's a hare down there, but these guys are on the move now, so let's, uh, oh man, let's, let's not get caught in the middle of the stampede. Let's try and, uh, kind of hang back just enough to get a bit of a strategic view on things. It's been a bit since we've hunted elk, but, uh, this, oh, this calf ran off by itself. I think Aiden would jump on that opportunity. There we go, we got it. And there comes the mother, get out of there. Oh, ow, she did hurt, but not nearly as much as that other one. That glitch has been fixed, by the way, so no danger of the, um the elk mother instant killing us again by dealing like 30 times damage <laughs> all right let's see if we can go ahead and get a good bite in here uh the mother is having a hard time reaching us amongst all these rocks so we can kind of use that to our advantage here we just want to do a series of smaller bites and uh, just watch to see when she's going to get here oh raven has come in and i don't know where the mother is actually the mother the mother's having a hard time i see her coming there all right, she's going to run up. She's going to attack Raven. All right, Raven's okay. We're fine. But let's go ahead. We will bite again. She's going to come after me if I don't get out of here. And it's a little bit laggy for some reason. I think I think we're just in a, an area where things are loading a bit still. Ow! So they do, they do hurt a little bit, but we're all right. We should be able to pretty easily bring this, uh, this elk down, I think. The mother came in and attacked again. We've got... We've got just a little bit left. Okay, if we can go across the stream, then the mother might... Nope, she got to us pretty easily. Oh, we finished it off, though. Look at... Oh, Raven! Raven went after her! Oh, my goodness! Wow! Raven just... Ra Raven can just go at him sometimes, but we should be able to, to eat and fill up on food now. Nobody's too hurt. These guys are definitely a very dynamic duo, but we'll go ahead and sleep again. We'll kind of linger by the car, because we'll let Raven get her fill, and it looks like she's done eating, I think. Yeah, she settled down, so we'll go ahead and go to sleep. She's going to sleep on the carcass. Look at that. She's kind of guarding it. She's got her head on the carcass as if she's warning anyone who comes by that, uh, hey, we don't we don't mess with we don't mess with Raven. Who's that? That's a fox. There's wolves here. There's a couple of them. Oh man. Okay, Aiden's down on health. Um let's let's show off some confident body language here. How many are there? There's just... Oh no, the other one grabbed him. Oh gosh. Oh, get out of there. Oh, Raven, we could use a hand right now. Let's, let's, let's escape. Let's, uh, let's get away from these guys. We might just have to run for it because Aiden is not equipped to handle this. Is this Junction 2, or Junction Beat 2 who came back with a friend? It might be. Oh, I think it might be. Oh, this one's going after the fox. Oh, leave the fox alone. That's our job to attack. To attack. Is this... Who is this? I'm trying to see who it is. Junction Beat 3M. Is it Junction Beat 4M? Okay, so we might want to get out of there, honestly. Uh, just because there's two of them and Aiden is a little bit hurt. This was a bad time. Oh, Raven! Raven, get out of there! Oh my goodness. Okay, we're, we're out. We're out. We're out. Okay. Oh, we kind of smacked him. Okay, Raven, let's go. Voice, we're gonna, we're gonna bark. All right, Raven, are you coming? She's coming. All right, we got this guy on our tail. Uh, there's actually moose and a calf here, but we're not really in a place to hunt them right now. Um, let's see. Yeah, we've got we've got one wolf here. 
honestly, I could see these guys kind of turning around and uh, just going for him as long as the other one doesn't show up. Now the tables have turned. The tables have turned. The other one might continue to chase us, though. Um, we got to keep an eye out for that. Because if he shows up, then we're going to be in some trouble. But if we can just take out one of these guys, I mean, if they're separated, they're not going to have as much good chance to uh, to take us down as they would otherwise. And it looks like splitting up for them was a bad idea. <laughs> All right, Aiden's pretty low, though, so we can't do too much. We're going to have to let Raven do a lot of the attacking. Um, we'll make sure... We'll kind of kind of run... He's gonna, oh, he's gonna go after us if we're not careful. Let's, um, let's see if we can, oh gosh, I don't want to get caught. I'm gonna try and grab and see if Raven will join in, because Aiden can't, I don't want Aiden getting too hurt here. I'm a little bit worried about his health right now. Raven, can you help us, Raven? She's circling, she's looking for a good opening. Did she get him? She almost got him. All right. But I don't see the other wolf. I think we've actually shaken him off the trail, perhaps. He seems like he didn't stick around. So if we keep attacking, oh my goodness, this wolf, man, this wolf is, this wolf is not going to run. You got to get out of here, bud. You are not in a good spot right now, dude. Oh no, the other one's here. Okay, we got to run for it. Raven, come on. Let's, uh, let's bark again. I don't know if that actually calls them to you, but, uh, I think it's what wolves do in the wild to warn a danger, so hopefully it does. Are we actually heading in the right direction? Yeah, we're going through this area. Uh, we're not going to be able to handle two, so that wolf's buddy just showed up in the nick of time for him. Otherwise, uh, he might have been in some trouble. He didn't look like he wanted to back down. So, yeah, that was a smart move on his part. Um, unfortunately, these guys are not going to be able to run one of those wolves off today. Uh, I know Raven is a little bit down on health. Aiden is very low on health right now. And uh, that's just not a situation we want to be in. Aiden's not going to be able to uh, take much more fighting right now. They kind of, they always catch him in a, in, when he's a little bit weakened. And I think that just irks him to no end. Because uh, they, he, he wants to be able to be strong. He wants to be able to fight. But they keep catching him in times when he's not. Like when he's just gone hunting. And I think he's eternally aggravated by that. <laughs> so let's head this way. We'll find somewhere to sleep. Thankfully we are pretty full on food. So once we find somewhere out of the territory to get to, I just wanted to see kind of where we were. Oh, let's not get stuck. We're very near the edge of the territory. There's mule deer tracks here, actually, but we can't really hunt right now. There's also moose tracks. Who's the, Who left these? Uh, it just says moose, so we can't tell what gender it is. But if we keep on heading this way, now we're in Wapiti territory. If we go down this way, we'll try to we'll be able to get to more of the uh, no man's land and rest there in a little bit more safety. There we go. So we're gonna limp out of here, and uh, I think we'll have to sleep again for a little bit. We'll 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 win, win a fight with the Junction Butte Pack one of these days. When it's aside from that one wolf that we just keep uh, keep fighting and keep winning against, we keep running into him and we keep taking him out. And uh, aside from that one wolf, we haven't had too much success against them, so one day these guys will have the chance to prove themselves, but right now Aiden needs to rest for sure, and I think Raven does as well. Maybe not quite to the same degree, but she needs to heal up as well. We don't want her being down on health, especially since these guys haven't bonded sufficiently for us to be able to turn off mate permadeath. So, we were close, we were close. We got a 16 out of 17 today, but unfortunately not quite, uh, not quite enough. All right, let's sleep again. They're both still a little hurt. I think, well, I think, it looks like Raven was most of the way up, but I think there's like a tiny sliver that wasn't. So we'll let them sleep at least once more. See, I think part of the problem that Aiden's not getting is that he doesn't like ever fully heal up. He'll heal up most of the way and then he'll go get himself into another reckless situation and get hurt. So... It's actually snowing. Let's sleep at least until the day gets here, because it can be really hard to see at night, especially when there's a lot of cloud cover and a lot of things going on. Uh, let's let them rest, and I think we should be a little bit better healed up once we wake up here. Pretty sure, at least. And, yep, there we go. So we're fairly well, fairly well healed. Nothing too crazy going on right now, but we are pretty hungry. What's this scent over here? Is this just hair? That's just hair and a fox. Okay. Um, let's see. Where where would there be food? I mean, there's hairs here. 
We could hunt a hare and go rest again, but I kind of want to spend the day actually doing something a little bit more. We spend a lot of time sleeping, and I'm trying not to spend too much time sleeping, but... Uh, you know, it's always it's always more interesting when there's stuff to be done kind of in between. And I feel like Aiden doesn't like laying around for too long either. He kind of, he'll, he'll say, okay, I'm mostly good enough, and then he'll, uh, he'll run off again. And sometimes that's not a good thing. Sometimes that gets him into more danger. So let's let him get a drink, and uh, we'll see. Raven, you look thirsty. You should get some water, too. She was kind of panting there, but she must be all right. She didn't seem like she wanted uh, water too much, so I think she'll be fine. But let's kind of sniff around and see, you know, maybe we could venture down. You know where we really haven't been too much is at the actual river. We can maybe venture down there a little bit and kind of explore around. Like, we've been, I think we went once with Pira to the river, but we really haven't been there anywhere else, or with anyone else, and we haven't been there for any extended length of time. Wait a minute. Aha! Mule deer tracks! Okay. If I can figure out which direction they headed, I think they went this way, it looks like. Yes? Yes, no, maybe so? If we keep following them, they're quite faint. Uh, yep, yeah, we're going the right way, okay. Sometimes the tracks can be a little hard to see in certain lights, but honestly, I mean, I think that's okay. It makes sense if- Wait, what? Who is this? Who is this? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Whoppity- What are Whoppity Wolves doing out here? Why are you so far from your territory? Are they far from their territory? They're kind of far from their territory. What are you doing here? You're not supposed to be out here. <laughs> oh, I'm not too sure what's going on here. But uh, they're just chilling around and being punks. They do seem a little bit less confident since they're not on their turf. But goodness, let's uh, let's intimidate them as much as we can. We'll get that, uh, get that flight meter up. Again, Aiden's getting himself into a reckless situation. I'm not sure y'all are supposed to be out here. How did you even accomplish that? Maybe something's going on in Wabbity territory. Maybe uh, maybe they're trying to get away from Terra. <laughs> oh, and the, they're not even fighting that much, honestly. Like, this wolf kind of came at us, but not too much. They're more circling than anything. If we, I wonder if we can just intimidate them with our body language. Nope, we can't. Okay, that's that's it. That's it. We're going after you again. All right, you need you need you need a bit of a butt kicking you won't forget. <laughs> All right. Um we'll go after this one cuz she's a little bit more hurt. We'll spend more time targeting her and I think she's actually going to run. Is she on the run? She's not quite on the run. All right. Let's go ahead. There's a bear up there. I don't know what that bear is doing. Um Raven, are you okay? The other one seems a little bit more hesitant to fight. I really don't know why. This one's ready to run, though. So she might take off if we give her that chance. And you are coming in. The other one took off running. We can probably chase this one off as well. Oh, she's on the run as well. You can see her fight or flight meter disappeared. So they should be getting back to territory here. <laughs> um, hopefully that'll, that'll teach them a bit of a lesson not to wander beyond their borders, because that was a very justified attack. Um, we'll go ahead, we'll put our tail up, and yes indeed, Raven has the right idea, we'll give a nice howl. Look at that waggy tail, she's so happy she won. But I actually am going to uh, just real quick drop a bug report, because I'm not quite sure if that's supposed to happen or not. So give me just a moment, and uh, I will be right back. All right, so let's, now that we've chased them off, let's get back to the, uh, back to the trail here. It should still be over here, I would think. Yep, there we go. That's that's moose, actually. No, that's not the mule deer trail. I mean, we could track a moose. You know what? Let's track a moose. I think Aiden is feeling a little bit overconfident right now, and we'll at least track one down, see what kind it is, except we're going the wrong way. So if we go up this way, this is where they should be, I think. If we run right up here. Wait, what, did we see a moose? Or, no, we saw a bear during the fight, is what we saw. Yeah, there's still a bear up there. If we go up this way, if it's a mother and a calf, we honestly might go after it. Aiden's a little bit hurt at the moment, but Raven's doing pretty well, and so we would probably stand a semi-decent chance of being able to take it out. If it is not, uh, if it's not a mother and a calf, though, I don't think we're gonna do that because uh, I don't, I don't think it's gonna be worth it. Otherwise, okay. Oh no, it kept going. It looked like it doubled back for a minute there, and I was a little confused. But it's actually quite a run by the looks of it. It's been here a while ago, more than anything. And uh, so we might have to spend a little bit of time running to catch up to it. I don't think we're going to fight it in this episode if we do get there, but we'll see what it is at the very least. 
and if it does happen to be mother and calf, then that might have to be how we start off our episode next time. And we're down to an hour's time, so it's probably just up ahead, maybe past these dead trees up here, I think, something like that. So let's keep going, and oh no, it looks like it's veered into the woods, perhaps. Alright, we got 40 minutes, 35 minutes, and we're counting down slowly. And female dispersal wolves, that's not the smell we want to smell. I don't think we're quite ready for another fight. Aiden, once again, is a little bit, feeling a little bit injured. Who have we got up here? We've got, oh man, you guys. We've got a mother and a calf that just kind of took off through the woods. The mother's not too perturbed. So we are going to go ahead and end off this episode here for today, though. And next time we'll actually try and fight these guys. See if we can manage to take one down. Raven, stand your ground for now, please. <laughs> I don't want you getting into a fight you can't win all by yourself. Oh, gosh, Raven. Uh, we're going to go ahead and end off this episode here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.